Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you guys are. I want to welcome you guys to my Q&A. Today, guys, I'm going to be solving you guys' problems, right? For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Bismarck, and let's get right into it, man. Like I said, I want to solve some problems today, and I'm going to be answering some questions all over social media. So let's get to it, guys. Um, my first question is, what is your definition of success? This is asked by Desmond Holmes in Lafayette, from Lafayette, Louisiana. So, guys, Desmond, man, my definition of success is to be able to do and live the way I want to fucking live. Like, I'm a big believer in freedom, right? I don't want, I hate being stuck in a certain place. I hate being not, I, I love traveling. So, I want to go and live and do whatever I want to do. Like I've lived in different countries and I know that freedom to me is way more important than any amount of money I make. All right, so I want to be able to do that. That's my definition of success. You know, your definition of success might be different, but for me, man, I believe in being free, right? Being able to go wherever the fuck I want to go, spend time with whoever I want to spend time with in whatever country, city, whatever, man, just to be, you know, just to be free. My next question is, um, I get asked, not for me so much, but a lot of people want to know, does bulking and cutting always have to be done separately? Is there a way to add muscle and lose fat at the same time, or a way to add muscle with minimal fat accompanying it? Now, guys, the problem with, now this is the issue with, 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 the, with the whole bulking and cutting thing, man. I don't believe in bulking, right? It's fucking adding a, a bunch of weight to and then cutting it. The issue with that is once you put on a lot of weight and you cut it, so to say, you lose fucking muscle. So I believe in lean muscle. I want you to be lean, as lean as possible all year round, right? So the way you need to do this is, so I don't believe in cutting or, or, or bulking. I would prefer you to stay lean because it's more sustainable. It's more natural. I don't believe in going towards two different extremes. I hate extreme, man. Extreme is not sustainable, right? So for me, bulking, cutting, no. Fucking be lean as possible, right? And they don't have to be doing... The, instead, of, instead of trying to cut or bulk, just stay lean, right? That's more natural and more, to me, more aesthetic, right? So my next question is... Oh, she also asks... She also asked, is there a way to add muscle and lose fat at the same time? This is from Lindsay Clark, guys, from um, Toronto. She's from Toronto. So is there a way to add muscle and lose fat at the same time? Yes, guys, it's called lean muscle. So the whole the whole deal with putting on, you know, lean muscle is to is to be on a program where you can be lean but also be strong. Right? So I believe in in being on a uh, in a progressive overload program, which is simply you adding your weight repetitions and intensity every single week. So the best way to stay lean and to all year is to be on a balanced diet, right? So for the, those of you who don't me and those of you who don't know me, that's something I preach a lot. A balanced diet is the most sustainable diet, right? Whether you want to lose weight. Or gain muscle, guys. If you want to, if you if you want to, if you want to lose weight or gain muscle, a balanced diet is the only way to go, right? No need for you to do any extremes. I don't believe in fucking extreme. I don't believe in these fucking diets where you gotta fucking fast twenty hours. Guys, what the fuck is, what the fuck is fasting for twenty hours, man? Fasting for fifteen hours a day. That shit is not fucking natural, bro. That shit is not natural. So to put on muscle, right, and lose weight. Be lean. Be on a balanced diet. But what is a balanced diet, if you ask? Proteins, vegetables, carbs, healthy fats. Guys, if you include that in every single meal, you're going to be lean forever, right? I don't want, I don't teach fitness, I don't teach fitness the quick way. I teach how to get fit for sure, right? This is the, the, the surest way to get fit, right? The problem with diets is most of them have an end goal. They're short-lived. So, you know, let's say you do intermittent fasting or whatever the fuck y'all do. Whatever these fucking uh, diets, these crazy ass fucking diets. 
what the problem is they have an end goal so you do it for a certain while you lose weight but then the, the the method to do this was so fucking extreme you can't maintain this shit forever right so guys if you if you look at a diet that you're given or you search up and you ask, ask yourself can I do this shit for the rest of my life because that's what that's what I want I want fitness to be a lifestyle to be sustainable right not to be, not to do it for a few months and then you go back and forth back and forth this is why people don't stick with their fitness goals this is why people have issues staying in shape because the methods they practice are too fucking extreme. Guys, nothing extreme is going to last long. It's always short-lived. Right? So my next question is, I'm, I'm asked by Drew, who's in Medellin, Colombia. How can I develop a workout plan that is so simple that I can't screw it up by missing a day or doing an exercise wrong? So guys, the principle of weightlifting is to, is to build strength and muscle, right? Guys, you only need to do four exercises, right? If you, no matter, no matter if you're starting off, let's say tomorrow is the first day in the gym, or you've been in this advanced, guys, I'm going to tell you the four principal exercises for muscle building and weight loss, right? So you don't complicate yourself. You don't need to go in the gym and do fucking extreme beyond shit. You don't need to do all that. The four main exercises that you need to focus on are barbell bench press, barbell deadlifts, barbell squats and pull-ups guys barbell bar, barbell uh bench press guys this is the compound of chest right the compound of chest meaning it works multiple muscles in your chest not only does it work your top chest it works your middle and your bottom chest but then it also works your 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 it also works your triceps also works your shoulders well that's what i mean by compound this muscle works multiple muscle groups that's why it's compound the second is deadlifts. Guys, this has to be the best fucking exercise in weightlifting. Guys, if you're not fucking deadlifting in your program, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. This is absolutely the best exercise ever, right? Deadlifts are... I can't, I can't stress enough how important deadlifts are. Guys, deadlifts work fucking everything, man. It works your lower back. It works your glutes. It works your core. It works your hamstrings. It works, guys, it works fucking every fucking muscle. Right? It's a very, very compound exercise. So that's the second one. Third one is, is barbell squats. So I just told you that deadlifts was the most important exercise. Now, barbell squats has to be probably be the exercise that you burn the most calories from. Because it's so taxing and it requires a lot of energy when done the right way. Right? If you do squats the right way, which is ass to grass, not fucking, fucking, I don't know what the fuck, not going below parallel. Do if you do squats the right way, guys, it's very, very energy consuming. So you burn a lot of calories. Right? That's the third one. And and then squats also, guys, squats work your glutes. Squats, squats work your core. Squats work all kind of these muscles. I, I call them the best exercise because they work the most amount of muscle groups. The last one, the fourth one, is pull-ups. Guys, I believe in being athletic, right? Guys, I was a I was a former NCAA athlete in track and field i believe in being able to carry your own weight right pull-ups to me is a very very is a the true testament on you know how athletic how athletically sound you are you know you could have all the muscles in the world but if you can't pull your own body weight then you you got to improve your strength now if you can't do body weight pull-ups right now that's fine but you should be working towards that because that to me it was is what completes your strength being able to pull your own body weight up Guys, pull-ups work shoulders, biceps, chest, back. Guys, these exercises, these four exercises are the most important exercises. So if, you, if you're trying to find a program, these are the only exercises you need to focus on. If you, no matter if you want to lose weight or gain muscle, right? If you just did these four exercises, right? That's all you need to do. You, you, you focus on these exercises and you, you improve in them every single week. Now, all right, I'm, I'm explaining to you a program you should be on. Those are the exercises, but the best program to be on is a progressive overload program. Well, a progressive overload program is simply you adding your weight, increasing your intensity, right, or increasing your repetitions every single week. If you do those three things, you complete the program and you build muscle and you shed fat the quickest. If you focus on those four exercises barbell 
uh, bench press, deadlifts, pull-ups, and squats, and then you increase your weight, you increase your intensity. When I say increase your intensity, that means decrease your time of rest, guys. You you increase your weight, increase your intensity, and increase your repetitions. I I I a hundred fucking percent guarantee. I fucking guarantee you, you're gonna lose weight and build muscle. It doesn't matter. I I promise you. Those are the principal exercises. So my fourth question is, how close to your macros do you have to get? A fitness calculator told me for my age, height, weight, etc., I need to consume so many calories to lose weight. With X number coming from carbs, Y from proteins, Z from fats. Oh my God. If I'm a couple of grams off, that should still be okay, right? As long as I'm in the ballpark, I shouldn't have to hit my macros dead on, right? Guys, look how fucking miserable and sad this this young lady is. This is this is Antoinette from Ohio. Look how look how painting she sounds just writing this shit. Look how complicated. What the f- guys? I don't believe in this counting your calories bullshit, bro. Look at this. Uh, X amount number from carbs, Y from protein, what Z from fat. What this is? This, does this fucking sound sustainable, right? Does this sound sustainable? Does this sound like something that she can do or anybody can do for the rest of their life? Guys, that's, that is why I don't believe in count calories. I don't believe in count calories, guys, because it is not, for the, for the simple reason that it is not sustainable, right? There are other methods that you can do that are just as effective. This is not the only way. I right? stop thinking that this, this is the only way for you to lose and gain weight. Guys, I stay lean all year round. Everybody I coach stays lean and lose fat and builds muscle all year round, Right? Guys, that shit is not sustainable. Who the fuck is going to come back from work and fucking come and count their fucking calories every single day? Are you going to be able to do that shit for the rest of your life? If not, then you shouldn't be doing it in the first fucking place. Right? It's not sustainable. And it's not healthy. It's not natural. Right? It can work. It, it is effective. It can get you. It can get you to build muscle or lose weight. Yeah. But it's not sustainable. So if you do it for a while, you see some results, and then you fall off. What the fuck was the point of doing it? If it's not, if it doesn't last long, why are you doing it? If you see results for two months or a month, and then you fall off the cliff because it, you know it's too extreme, or then and you go back to where you started. Be on a balanced diet and a sustainable program. Sustainability, guys. If you're not, if your program is not sustainable, then it's not going to be effective in the long run. Guys, my whole mission with fitness is to make this shit as simple as possible. And to make it a lifestyle for you guys, right? Because I've already created it as a lifestyle in my life. I want to help you guys create it as a lifestyle. But for something to be a lifestyle, it has to be simple enough for people to follow, right? The methods that you know are preached in fitness right now, do this, extreme this, intimate this, count this. What the fuck, guys? Guys, I was an athlete for... I've been an athlete all my life, guys. I was an NCAA collegiate athlete for two years. Guys, I don't know one athlete that I know that counts their fucking calories. But we stay in shape and look the best all year round. Why? Because we do stuff that works. Athletes are very, very efficient. Like, we don't do extreme shit. If we have to be in tip-top shape every single week of the year, guys. Guys, if you want to learn from anybody, you need to learn from athletes. Guys, we're required to be in shape and compete every single week. Every single week. And I'm telling you guys, we never did that shit. I don't know no athlete that goes and counts the calories. They're more balanced. They, they watch what they eat, but they don't, they're not extreme. They're on a flexible diet. And that's what works. If it works for athletes who have to be in shape all year round, why the fuck do you think it wouldn't work for you? Be balanced and sustainable. Guys, ain't no fucking athletes going to compete and then go home and count their fucking food, guys. Come on, guys. And athletes are the most athletic, the most aesthetic. Come on, man. Stop being this. This, this lady she sounds fucking miserable. Like, God damn. Why from fats? Z, what the fuck, man? If, if I'm a couple of grams off, that should still be okay, right? Like, I feel bad for you. Like, you just, man, that's too much shit, bro. God damn. My next question. One of the things, she says, hi, one of the things I have trouble with is creating the time to exercise during the week. You know, I work 8 to 6 usually and really struggle to motivate myself. 
This is from Jessica Root from Reading, England. All right. So Jessica, the one thing that I preach is to get up in the morning and to train. Right. The first thing you need to do every morning is you, every day you have every day you have to exercise is to get up and train. Guys, this has so many benefits that it's crazy. It's fucking crazy, guys. If you get up in the morning and the first thing you you do is work out, you feel so fucking accomplished. Guys, you have you have accomplished a task the first thing you do in the morning. That puts your mind to be in a in a state where you crushing any challenge you face that day. Right? So you you crushing it, guys. And when you work out, your body releases this feel good endorphins. So if the first thing you do in the morning is training, before you do anything else, the first thing you do in the morning is training, you feeling good for the rest of the fucking day. Nothing is gonna be more challenging than that workout you just had. Right? Because and then and then after you felt good about it. The second reason why this is so important is to get up in the morning. Guys, it helps you stay more lean. So what happens is when you get up in the morning and you go, the first thing you go do is work out, right? Guys, your body is using your fat storage to burn its calories, right? You have, you have, you haven't eaten anything all day. You're not working out at 6 p.m. So your body is using fat storage to, to burn its calories. So this helps you stay lean and, and, and keep lean. That's why athletes go train at 5 in the morning. That's, this is exactly why, bro. It, it, it keeps you, it helps you get stay strong and be as lean as possible. Alright, my next question is, how effective is intermittent fasting? I heard it may not be suitable for everyone and that women especially need to be careful. This is from Crystal Day from Argentina. Guys, I want y'all to stop this shit, bro. I want y'all to stop this shit. Guys, if it's not sustainable, it's not going to work. I don't care what the results tell you. I don't care what the fuck the facts they give you. I don't give a fuck, guys. I'm telling you this as an athlete. I'm telling you as somebody that somebody, somebody who's done this for years, guys. If it's not sustainable, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, right? You have to be able to. You have to be able to be on a program where you can do this shit for life. If you see a program and you can't do it for the rest of your life, don't fucking start the shit. Don't start it, guys. This, these, these diets, man, fucking drive me crazy, bro. I'm like, bro, like, man, how the fuck am I supposed to? Every single day, I'm supposed to fast for what the fuck, man? How the, how the guys? Does that shit sound sustainable to you? Does that shit sound sustainable? Right? Like, how the fuck are you supposed to maintain this for the rest of your life? So what's gonna happen is. You know, they, they promote you this product or whatever it is, this diet, and you, you see some results, you get excited, they get the results and they leave, right? Whoever is helping you get the results and they leave, right? But you have to go back again and start over after a few months because you fall off because it's not sustainable. Guys, my diet is so simple. I don't think about this shit. I just eat naturally. I eat a balanced diet. I include proteins, vegetables, carbohydrates in every single meal. Everybody I coach does the same thing. Guys, I don't even talk about diets with my with my clients anymore. Anybody I, anybody I'm teaching. We don't even talk about diet. It's so fucking simple. It's so simple. And it works every single day. I, I swear to God, I do not talk about diet with anybody I'm training. We don't even mention it. You know what to eat. Okay, that's simple enough. Boom. Every single day. Don't need, don't need to do something crazy for the rest of your life. Let it be sustainable, guys. Let it be sustainable. Number seven is, my question, this is, uh, I'm asked by Jadizia, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, Jadizia Johnson from Rochester, New York, and she asks, my question is, how do I get lean muscle? I'm a martial artist, and I find that no matter how I change my diet or workouts, I always bulk. I know I'm strong and fast, but I want to be more toned and not sacrifice that. So what you want to do is you want to keep you want to keep you want to keep your program as simple as possible, right? The whole changing, 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 you not find any consistency. You wanna you wanna you wanna keep your program as sustain as simple and sustainable, right? Know what works. I just gave you those four exercises that I think are gonna help you no matter what. 
no matter what you're trying to get, those exercises engage the most muscle. If you don't want to sacrifice, you know, your strength, be on a program that you know works with your diet and a program that you know works with your, you know, with your, with your training. Be simple. You don't have to do fucking 30 fucking exercises when you go train. Do something that works, right? Make sure it's effective, right? Make sure your diet is effective and make sure your training is effective. And you're going to always keep strength. You're not going to lose that. You're not going to bulk. Stay as lean as possible. A balanced diet helps you stay lean. All right. My next question is from Matt Shields from Instagram. And he goes, how many sets do you usually do per exercise? So I do what is called, I, what I do, my, how I do myself, I do like a 6-4-4 four, four split or an 8-6-6 six, six split. And what I mean by that is I start off every exercise. Every day I train, guys, I always start off with, and when I'm weight training, Every day I train, I always do my compound exercise first, right? And that's because I feel like that's the exercise that requires the most amount of energy and it works the most body parts. I gave you the, the, the top four, guys. And remember, squats, deadlifts, uh, bench press, and pull-ups. So I do I do my compound exercises first. So I usually do anywhere from six to eight sets for my compound exercise because I know, guys, when you're doing three to four sets, you're not doing shit. You barely even warming up the muscle. You be just fucking warming up by three or four sets. Come on, guys. You got that exercise works multiple muscle groups. So if you're trying to, if you only stick in the three or four exercises in general, you gotta do exercises that you know. You gotta do sets that you know are, are gonna be functional, right? I do somewhere. I do, I do warm up sets. And then I go to my working sets. My working sets are gonna be the heavier sets because I know that's when I'm really, really getting that work in, right? By three or four sets, I'm still warming up. <laughs> what the hell is three sets? My third set, I'm still warming up. I'm, I'm barely even warm. Guys, I don't probably get warm to like my fifth set when I'm doing a compound exercise. When I get to my like sixth set, then I start doing the working sets. Right? I do about three to four working sets and I do about four warm-up sets because I know that's going to give me, I'm going to get the most out of the exercise. I'm going to get the most out of the exercise because I know it's compound. After I do my compound, I do then I go to my isolation. So if I'm working back and I do deadlifts, then I might go to some to some pull downs or some rows. You know, try to spe specific and attack each. You know, the, the specific muscles, right? I usually do anywhere from four to six sets on those, right? But I stay at higher reps on these because I know I'm not doing as much sets anymore, like I was in my compound. I'm cutting down the sets, so I'm gonna do more reps. You know what I'm saying? So I do like I do like three to four exercises a, 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 a training day, bro. I don't do I don't believe in training thirty fucking exercises in one day. Like like that's fucking ridiculous. I do this, I stay efficient, guys. I can't preach to you how training like an athlete is so important, guys. Let me give us an example. Like in track and field, when I competed in track and field, guys, we had to we had we had we had competitions across the country. Let's say on a Friday or Saturday. Right, every single day of that week was something is specific that was gonna prepare us for that Friday to compete at the best and be at the best shape possible. Guys, we didn't have time to go do crazy shit. We train efficient. We train what works. Right? You don't go do crazy shit to go be ready to compete. So guys, if it works for athletes, if we don't do shit that's crazy, right? If we do the only things that the things that work, why the fuck you think it wouldn't work for you? You know what I'm saying? Be efficient. Every single day should be efficient. 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 Not crazy. Not extreme. Do things that work so you can see the results. Right? If I didn't if I didn't if I didn't treat my daily day, you know, training program, by Friday I wouldn't be ready to sprint at the best at, at the best of my ability. I wouldn't be able to. You know what I'm saying? So each day was specific. It was no days to waste. It was very, very efficient each day. Each day has its own purpose. And, but in that in that day, I'm not gonna do a million different things. You know what I'm saying? So that's about it, guys. Keep keep it to about three to four exercises, and do you know a lot of sets, six to eight sets for your compound, and then do four to six sets for your isolations. That's it. So now I'm going to some more commonly asked questions. Right? How do I find motivation to consistently work out? Guys, this this is something very very important here, man, and. The reason why most people are struggling with motivation is they like that in themselves. They like that pride in themselves. Guys, if you if you go in the mirror and you absolutely don't love the way you look 
or you don't love the way you feel every single day, then you got to start with yourself first. Guys, no fucking body spends more time with you than you. Nobody. Nobody spends more time with you than you. So if you don't give yourself 100%, what the, what else are you not giving 100%? How are you going to give everything else in life 100%? Are you giving 100% to everything else in life but you? Guys, that, that shit is, that shit baffles me, man. What the fuck? Guys, you, you nothing should come second to your fitness. Nothing should come first to your fitness. Your fitness should always come first, right? So you got to, if you, if you love and absolutely love yourself, you're going to do things that you know are beneficial to you, right? But if you don't, like, you're not, you're not going to care about how you look. Guys, how the fuck can't you care about how you look? If you don't care about how you look and how you feel, this is you. What don't you, what else, like, how are you going to be dependable in anything else in life? How are you going to give 100% to anything else? You don't give it to yourself. God, stop cheating yourself, man. What the fuck? You can't. How you don't give yourself 100%? You got to give yourself 100%. And the second thing you need to do is hire somebody who has a passion in whatever you're struggling at. If you need motivation, right, hire somebody who, hire a personal trainer, hire a coach. Guys, a coach is a fucking cheat code. It's a cheat code to anything. Not just in, in fitness, not just in whatever. Guys, let me give you guys an example. I hate working with computers. Absolutely hate working with computers. I don't like it, you know. But I still have to have a program for all my clients that's professional. I still have to have a website that's professional. I still have to have things that are professional. So what do I do? Do I spend all fucking day pulling my fucking little hair that I have, pulling it out because I don't? I hate computers now, but I have to? No. I go hire somebody who knows and loves what they're doing. Right? If somebody loves working with computers, me working with them is going to be a lot more efficient and what I'm trying to get at, right? I, I no need no need for me to do something I don't like to do, guys. And you don't have to hate it. Let's say you don't like it that much, or you're not as familiar with it. Hire somebody who does, who enjoys working with it. The, that person's enthousi- enthusiasm is gonna rub off on you. It's gonna make you enjoy it more, and your your product end product is gonna be more efficient, guys. Nobody successful has gone gone through this world on their own. It has never happened. It has never happened. Nobody. The more you try to do everything on your own, the the, the slower your, your progress is. I, I fucking promise you this, bro. I promise you're never going to get to the level you want to if you think that you're going to have everything figured out on your own. That you could just do, you could just snip and cut, snip and cut every single thing and, and figure it. You think you're going to blow up that way? You think you're going to get to the highest level of anything that way? And if you're not striving to be on the highest level, then what the fuck are you doing? Right? Stop being average. Average is a big, big problem. Stop being average. Be efficient and amazing. Strive to be an amazing person. Strive to be somebody who gets shit done. And to get shit done, work with people who who are enthusiastic about what they're doing. They need to love that. Right? And if you're going to hire a person trainer, make sure you get a fucking person trainer that at least looks good. Guys, this is another thing that I can't... This has to be the dumbest shit in the world to me, bro. I don't know how people can hire trainers that don't look good. Or like who personal trainers who are out of shape because they have a certificate. What the fuck, guys? Is how you gonna hire somebody because they have a fucking certificate? They don't obviously they don't love what they're teaching you because they don't implement it in their own lives. If somebody you want, if you're gonna hire somebody and they don't implement what they're teaching you into their own life, then how surely do you think that they believe what they're teaching you? Are they just teaching you to just to get the money, guys? I just like I told you guys every earlier. Money is not as important as freedom to me. Right? I know that by helping a lot of people, it's going to give me the freedom to go and help more people in any way I want to go help. Right? If you just care, if that's, if that's all you're worrying about is the money is going to be short-lived. Right? Not saying you should make money. Fucking right, make your fucking money. But, you know, I care more about the freedom. I know that. I know the, I know what it can get me. I know I can get that freedom from it. But guys, get somebody who at least looks good. Guys, that's important. Obviously, that person is enthusiastic about what they're teaching you. Because they implement it on themselves. That's the biggest. That's the biggest telltale right there. If they love, if you see that they look good, obviously they love it. They they implement it on themselves. If they love computers, and you see that they got the, you know, they know how to do all this stuff. They got a fancy computer. They got you know all these different widgets and stuff like that. Obviously they like doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody who loves doing it, and implements it into their own life. And by the first thoughts with you loving yourself more, 
that's it guys second thing uh the second question was how do i know what program to follow guys if before any pro you get on any program ask yourself can i do this program for a long time all right can i be on this program for the rest of my life right if you can't be on a program if you can't see on yourself you can't see yourself being at the, on, on the program for more than just a few months then don't start this shit why the fuck would you start something that you know you're gonna end it's not sustainable so you're gonna waste money what the fuck don't get because you think oh you see the results oh you can lose weight in like in lose lose so and so pounds because i believe in results i believe in results for sure results right every i don't believe in extreme extreme is not going to relate to more people to, to everybody Right, extreme might work for certain people, but it's not gonna work for everybody. I'm trying to impact as many people as I can, right? So I know that the most efficient way is to be on a balanced diet, is to be on a program that I know works, right? No, and it's, I know it's gonna last me. I can do for a long time and still see results. You get what I'm saying? That's it. That's it, guys. Guys, I created something so so special, so so powerful, guys. Guys, I created a webinar, and I called it Eat Live. Train like an athlete, guys. Like I've been, I've been preaching, guys. Guys, I feel like training and being taking the athletic way is 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 probably the best way because, guys, I feel like nobody else does it more consistently than athletes. Because I mean, we have to be in tip top shape all year, and these people, these people love what they're doing. So I created a webinar for those of you, those of you who don't know what a webinar is. It's a seminar. But through the web, and it's gonna impact so many, so many people, so many people all over the world. And I want to make it available to everybody. So I made it fucking free, guys. I made it free, guys. I'm gonna leave a link down below. It's gonna teach you so much more about getting the mindset of an athlete, getting, getting the, 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 the building the habits, right? So much more about the diet. I'm gonna show you guys some more about the diet, guys. I made it so powerful. It's so so powerful, guys. This is the this is a complete guide on how to stay fit for life, right? This is this is the guide right here. This webinar and this webinar I teach how to basically stay fit for life, right? I'm gonna make it available for everybody completely free. I'm gonna leave a link down below, guys. Also, for those of you who ask me questions, wonderful, great. But if you if you if you now you see my the Q and A, you wanna ask a question, I'm gonna leave another link for you to contact me. Simply ask me whatever your question is. And I'm going to do my best to help you. I'm going to see how I can help you, right? I'm going to see what I can do. Also, I also talked about, you know, the person with the best question is going to get my ebook for free. I believe the person with the best question was Lindsay Clark from Toronto, Ontario. She asked me, not for me so much, but a lot of people want to know, does bulking and cutting always have to be done separately? And is there a way to add muscle and lose fat at the same time? I feel like this is like a very, very, very big, big issue in fitness. Like people don't know what to do, how to build muscle, how to stay lean. Guys, stay lean. Stay lean. Be on a balanced diet and a, an effective training program. That's it. I feel like that question related to a lot of people. You know, you know, now that I feel like that's that was that was a very, very important question. Now guys, for people who do bodybuilding and stuff, they you know, that's a sport. But for normal people, I want I want you guys to be more athletic, right? And to be lean all year is the most natural and sustainable way to go. I don't believe in bulking or cutting, right? I don't believe in going, adding a bunch of weight and then just cut it again. You lose fucking muscle that way. Stay lean all year, all right? Thank you guys so much, so much. Don't forget, guys, the webinar, man, I made it so powerful. It's going to impact so many people. Click the link down below. And if you want to ask me a question, I'm going to leave another link for you. Guys, thank you so much. Peace.